One of the most common and most fun types of jazz to play is good old-fashioned 12-bar blues. I kind of like the shuffle version of that, which is just a particular way of putting it together that is easy to do, is fun to play, and you can have just a great time with your friends and family. It really starts out with the idea that you're going to play three chords, just three. You're going to play the tonic chord, the one chord, you're going to play the four chord, you're going to play the five chord, and you're going to play the one chord. Now you can modify them and play sevenths on them, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to add flat sevens on them, which makes them just a little more colorful. So you play four bars of C chord. C. 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 Then you go to the F chord, which is the four in the key of C. C, D, E, F. So F4, C, D, E, F. F chord, F chord, back to C. C chord, C chord. Staying on C, C, G7, which is the five, F, C, to C. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if you're playing just the chords, that's not a real problem. And I'll start this by playing just the chords for you. It's fun to play just with the chords, and if you're a piano player or a bass player, you got that little walking bass going there, that's just, it's fun to do, and you can play that just straight up as it is. Have a blast. But if you're like a saxophone player or a trumpet player, you want to play a melody over these chords, because unlike the piano player, you can't play all those colors of sound together at the same time. So while the piano player is playing the C chord, they're playing C and E and G. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add a B-flat to it. So we've got C, E, G, and B-flat. That means that all of the strong places in the measure, you want to have that, but you can use any of the other notes that belong to that scale at the same time. You just add them through there. So you'll see that the saxophone part just keeps going up and down the scale and up and down the scale. And the idea behind that was so you could see that there are things that are not belonging to the chord, but they sound fine because they're inside of things that do belong to the chord. So the C, E, G, the F, A, C, the G, B, D. Now you'll notice a lot of places in here that the, the B has been inflected to B flat, and that just gives it a little more color, a little more prettiness to the sound. So have a look at it with a little simple saxophone just playing straight quarter notes. It's not the coolest thing you'll ever hear in the world, but you can see where things are going, and maybe that'll help give you some idea about what you want to do.